All right, Craig, you want to talk about the HubSpot sales pitch of the week? Well, I think you alluded to this earlier and the prospecting tool. I think it's one of those things that when you roll it out and you go, oh, what's this? Oh, okay, I get it straight away. And when you start talking about it with sales teams, like, oh, that's great. Yeah, that's what we want. Now, I'll just tell viewers the screenshots we've got are from their their demo. They're not from our or any any customer's portal because it would show things that, you know, private. But it's a nice interface. They've taken the lead, I think, well, again, from Salesforce, there's this kind of sense of leads and contacts and separate. But that's okay because I think that's the feedback they're getting. People have kind of been trained in the Salesforce world to want this kind of mini subset of leads and how it's handled. So they're doing that without breaking the overall uh, single contact and life cycle stages. So it's quite nice. It's very, I think, sales teams, bigger sales teams, more especially enterprise and mid-market will love this kind of stuff. Pulls a whole bunch of things together. And based on these screenshots, you can then send. It's really here's your work. It's about guiding salespeople to what what to work on next, clearing their view of clutter. Now, one of the things that I, th- you and I have both loved is views on contacts. Oh, yes. we can filter this down, and we are often surprised when we go and show this to clients who are heavy HubSpot users, and we're showing them views. We go, oh, how many views are you using? Oh, we don't really use them. We're like, what? Oh, yeah. And then we're talking about, like, I just want to see the client, the contacts I've got to follow up. And they're doing all these kinds of things. Like, the number of clients lately we've seen where they create a deal for a contact mm. purely to say, this is the contact I need to follow up. Yeah. And we're like, w- why are you doing that? That's really inefficient. There's ways you can easily filter your views. You can use lead status and lifecycle stage and all these things. Correct. A little bit of training would get them. But they're not embracing it. And I find that surprising, but I think HubSpot's been getting that feedback. I'm like, ah, that's why you need this prospecting tool because they haven't embraced the views. And I'm not sure why that is, and maybe it's an intuitiveness problem, but this whole prospecting feature overcomes that. It takes away all that noise and brings it down to just what you're using. So I think it's really useful and it's going to be very, very popular. What what are your thoughts on, on the prospecting tool so far, Ian? All the people in sales I've showed it to have been very receptive yep. to it, Craig. Now, my next thing is I'm going to have to go and make sure that they're using it. So <laughs> that's the next part. But I think it is a great start. My When I first heard about it, I was a bit concerned, thinking, oh, they, it's getting separated. When someone first told me, I was like, I was a bit dubious about it. Mm. But now seeing how it's implemented, I think it has brought clarity to sales teams. And just taking away that clutter and noise. So, I, I, do, I do think it's going to just go from strength to strength from yeah. where it is now. So. I agree. The product team that built this, obviously spoken with users. Well, probably their own HubSpot sales reps. And really worked out, oh, this is actually what's helpful. As opposed to sometimes we see features roll out and it's like, did the product team ever use this themselves? This is something they've definitely used. So, yeah. 